Shalom. This is the day that Yah have made, and we should, you should, rejoice and be glad in this day. Hallelujah. Yah have made this day for you. You woke up this morning. You should be glad in this day. Hallelujah. Now, today's word is you will judge the world and angels. Did you hear what I just said? You will judge the world and angels even. Wow. Now I got a scripture. <laughs> you know I hear the scripture for it, right? Okay, let's go to that scripture. This is coming from 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2 through 8. Now let's read that. This is what it says. Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? Wow. And if the world shall judge you, if the, year, if the world shall be judged by you, are ye not unworthy to judge the smallest matters? That's why Paul responded like he did. When they had a fornicator in a certain church, and he was like, Wait a minute, y'all couldn't judge this simple matter? You couldn't judge this? This fornicator being among y'all, especially how wicked his fornication was, you couldn't judge this thing? He said, Don't you know y'all gonna judge the world and you couldn't judge this simple matter? So then he goes on, he says, Know ye not? That the that ye that we shall judge angels. Whoa! Now that just I don't know if it if it threw your mind like it threw mine, but you mean tell me we ain't gonna just judge the world with our earth earthly men, but we we gonna also judge angels. Now let's keep going, right? It says that how much more. Things that pertain to this life. If then ye have judgments of things pertaining to this life, set them to judge whom judge who are least esteemed in the church. I speak to your shame. Is it so that there is not a wise man among you? So he said, you mean tell me there's not a wise man among you that won't judge these simple things? Simple things, right? Then he says, no, not one shall be able to judge between his brother. Wow. Not one will be able to judge between his brethren. Okay. But brother go up to the law with brother. Ain't that what you're saying today? So, I have an art with a brother, right? And instead of trying to judge this thing or deal with this thing between me and the brethren, I'm going to take it to the unjustly judge and to the law, the Roman law system, to judge his brother. This is off. That's why he's saying this. And that before the unbelievers so he's talking about unbelievers you gonna take your brother before the unbelievers now, I know he's done you wrong but you gonna take him before the unbelievers I'm gonna tell you what the problem is with this cause I'm keep on reading this right the problem is we're not set up right in the land of our captivities we should have elders set up we should have ministers set up who should be able who we should be able to come to Problem is we got our own little um sections, right? Our own little camps and all these different things, right? Who believe differently. So then when there's a brother that come come with a certain problem, who are you gonna go to? Who is he gonna go to, right? It should be a set of elders to where he could go to these people and he can say, you know what? Hey, this is the situation. Can we judge this thing? But nope, there are no more judges in Israel. Hmm. And no one wants to judge. This is why people say, don't judge. <laughs> You've heard them say that before. Don't judge. Don't judge. You should not judge. Because they don't want nobody judging Israel. 
in spite of the fact that they're doing some wicked things, don't judge me. Let me continue to do my wickedness. So, in this passage, the Most High is telling you what's going on. We are supposed to be able to judge these things. He that is spiritual, you know the scripture. He that is spiritual, judge of all things. So, a person that is spiritual, he's supposed to be able to judge these things, right? What does the word say? It says, now therefore, there is utterly a fault among you. Because you go to the law one with another. And wicked judges. You're taking people to wicked judges one before another. Why do ye rather take wrong? Why do ye, do ye not rather suffer yourselves to be defaulted? Nay, ye do wrong to defraud, and that your brethren. You do wrong to defraud your brethren, to take him to the wicked judge. In other words, judge him before the righteous people. Let the righteous people come together and judge. But how can you do that when there's not a judge in Israel? Hmm. It's a shame that the Most High have risen up judges, people that can righteously judge things, but most of us can't even receive their judgment. But in spite of that, when the time comes, you will judge the world. You will judge angels. That's correct. Because when the millennial is set up here on this earth, I guarantee you, Yah's people are going to judge this planet, right? And they're going to judge even angels. That's the word. You can't get away from it, right? Mm -hmm. Shalom. Hallelujah.